Open to the book of Exodus chapter 13. Amen. Amen. We apologize to the inconvenience. We are trying to set up our, uh, our technical team are really working hard. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Open your Bible to. Oh, sorry. Let me greet my, my our our brother on Facebook. The way I'm heated this evening. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> Our friend on Facebook, may God bless all of you. <laughs> you are welcome to Jesus, the True Shepherd Ministries International. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so may God bless you. <laughs> and then may you sit down, relax. And listen to the word of God. Don't rush at all. Just relax. The Lord is going to speak to us. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us start from the book of Exodus, chapter 13. Exodus 13. Amen. We are reading the verse. 17 and 18. 17, 18. Exodus 13, 17, 18, please. Are we there? Yes. Sister Abigail, please. The three language. Amen. Amen. But I think I can tell some no Most of whom I talk to me, no. It's a dummy and a mood doing song, and a doom or trimmer. I try in Tierra, dear son. Now, Faro ma or my no quino. In Uncle Pon Amfa, one uncle Fafilis for us as the soup pine ah, and worry no. If we said, when Uncle Pon say, that on my no uncle, who no dom and no one. Now, one Sunday and come his room. Into Uncle Pon, the old man of con. On some far, a stress of quiet air, a da epoch of four monos. Now Israel for no car and two and two free misumas as a so coy. Amen. Amen. Daddy, please read it for us, please. Exodus chapter 13, 17, and 18. The English, please. Then it came to pass. When Pharaoh had let the people go, that God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines. Although that was near, for God said, lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war and return to Egypt. 18. So God led the people around by way of the wilderness of the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up in orderly ranks out of the land of Egypt. Amen. Amen. Is it the 18? Have you finished the 18, please? Yes, I'll finish the 18. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Now, open again to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8. One and two. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verse 1 and 2. Every command which I command you today, you must be careful to observe that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers. Verse 2. And you shall remember that 
the Lord your God led you all the way these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you and test you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Now, I want us to pay very attention to these scriptures. Brethren, our God is not a God who does not I don't want to use some words. Amen. Let me use it this way. Our God is a God of wisdom. Amen. Man, man has a big problem. Man, we have a big issue. This is the wisdom of God. Two things that the God taught about man. When he was about to redeem them from the slavery. Number one. The other kind of say. I want my children to have a good life. I want my children to have a good life. I don't wish my children to suffer. After all these years, I want them to enjoy. After all these persecutions, I want them to enter into the kingdom of heaven. After all these problems, after all this slavery, I want them to come back home and relax. Sister, be in the spirit, okay? Be yes. in the spirit. Amen. I'm very heated. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Amen. The Lord wants me Amen. and you to enjoy good life. Good life on earth, good life in heaven. So when he was about to redeem the children of Israel, he says, I will not take these people to the shorter way. Because if they see these people, they will run away to Egypt again. Because they will be scared of them. But I want them to enjoy. I have prepared a land for them somewhere. I want them to enter that land and rejoice every good thing on that land. But how can I lead these people there? Amen. How can I lead them? If I take them to these cities, if I take them to these people, even though my presence will go with them, these people will be forced to run away. This is the mind of man. Amen. Amen. Therefore, mm -hmm. I am taking them a different route. In order for me to test them as well. In order to know their hearts. If they really love me. Amen. 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 So the Lord took them through this desert. Cross the rivers. Cross the sea. Until they got on that land. And Moses told them. The land has been given to you now. The land you are approaching that land. It will be given to you. 
Because of the promise that the Lord promised Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. But there is one thing I want you to put in mind. Remember that the Lord took you this way in order for you to be tested. If you really love God, if you will be obedient to his words, glory be to Jesus. This is the mind of God. Brethren, Jesus Christ was given to me and you. It is God himself who worked it all. You know. Because he wants to know our minds. He wants to know if we will really believe in his son. He wants to know if we love him. He wants to know if we will be obedient. Let me create a son and send him on this earth. Amen. 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 Let me create a son. And I will send him here on the earth. I just want to see if my people on earth will believe in him. They always say they love me. They always say they cherish me. Now I am not going, I am just trying to, 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 to turn some things around. Let my son go. Let my successor go. So that I will see if they will believe in him. Amen. 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 If you say you love God, and you don't love Jesus Christ, and you don't believe in Jesus Christ, then what is the sense in loving God? You love God. And you have seen his son. His only son. He has come to you. In the name of this God that you claim you love. But you don't believe in him. This tells your character. This time you have been captured rare handed. There is no excuse. There is no escape. Brethren, this is the wisdom of God. Because God knows the heart of man. My brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, the heart of man is terrible. If we will, if, if we can, we will even try to kill God. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Amen. The heart, you see. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. The heart of man is so wicked. The heart of man, it's so hard. <laughs> to understand that we can even bring God from heaven and go and live there. <laughs> Brethren, this is mystery. The Bible says the Lord wants good things for his children Israel. But at the same time, let me test them and see. Brethren, the same thing is happening to me and you in our time now. God wants me and you to come and enjoy heaven. But he wants to test us with his son Jesus Christ. If we will believe him or not. This man Jesus Christ came on the earth. 
physically. He was born by a woman. And so many things were said about him. So many people don't believe in him. But they want to go to God. Have you seen that God have caught have, have caught them in their own craftiness? Do you understand this? I want you to know that if you have believed in Jesus, then believe in him with all your heart. I want us to know that without him there is no life. He is God himself who came to die for me and you. That is what so many people don't understand. But it is the mystery of God. If it will not happen this way, how can God know your mind? How can you be caught in your craftiness? How can you be caught in your sins? Amen. God Almighty can do this in so many ways. But he says no. I will send a son to represent me on earth. And I would like to see what will happen, what they will do to him. And indeed, they did. Are you getting that? Glory be to Jesus. Is the Lord speaking to me and you tonight? Ah, yes. Anyone who does not believe in Jesus Christ doesn't have life. Anyone who will not believe in the name of Jesus, you don't have life. Go with me very quickly to the book of John. John chapter 3. Let's read from the verse 1, please. It is a popular scripture. You always read. But the Lord is going to show us some mysteries in these scriptures. John chapter 1, we are reading from the verse 3, please. John chapter 3. Oh, John chapter 3, sorry. John chapter 3 from the verse 1. Amen. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Verse 2. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Amen. Daddy, hold on for a bit, please. The Bible said there was a man and this man is by the name Nicodemus. This man is a teacher of the Jews. This man knows the laws of the Jews very well. This man knows everything about the prophets. This man knows what the prophets has prophesied about Jesus. No, he knows what the prophets have prophesied about Jesus. The Bible says this man came out in the night and went to Jesus and said Rabbi I know you are sent by God I am convinced because all the things that you do 
If God is not with you, you cannot. I don't want to perish. The prophets have said so many things about the Messiah. Oh, And now I believe you are the Messiah. That is why I have come to you this night. Indeed, I risk my life to come to you. Because I am a Pharisee. I am not just a Pharisee, but a teacher of the Jews. But I don't want to enter into hell. That is why I've come to you tonight. I want to ask of you. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? To enter into the kingdom of heaven. This is all that I need from you, Lord. Are you wiser than Nicodemus? Amen. Amen. Are you wiser than Nicodemus? Do you know the scriptures more than Nicodemus? But this Nicodemus has found the truth. Because he knows everything that was about to come. Because the Bible says he was the ruler of the Jews. And the ruler of the Jews knows their Torah. They know the history of their people. But this Nicodemus was convinced that Jesus is truly the Messiah. And without him, you cannot make to the kingdom of heaven. Brethren, I am telling you this evening. If you still have breath in you, so who want to I want you to dedicate your life to Jesus. I want you to make sure that he will be your Lord and personal Savior. I want you to forget whatsoever that you hear outside. But put your trust in this Jesus. Because without him, there is no life. My brothers and sisters, I'm telling you the truth. And then if me can question that the Pharisees they knew that Jesus resurrected. According to their scriptures, they pay bribe for them to keep their mouth shut. Now can I'm telling you the truth. As the spirit of God leads me. If you forsake this Jesus, rather you don't have life. It does not matter how long you will spend on this earth. One day you will die. And when you get to the other side, you will see this Jesus judging you. Because all power has been given to him. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. The Bible said, This man, this learned man, what do man know? What do man know that we don't want to accept this Jesus Christ? Nicodemus, being a ruler of a Pharisee and a teacher, ran to him. And we sit down and say anything that we want to say about this Jesus. Brethren, I want you to know one thing is for sure. They are pointed appointed unto man who has to die. After this death, I'm telling you there is a judgment. 
Mm. And that judgment is not going to be run by anybody apart from Jesus Christ. No, no, no. Amen. Amen. So this is what the Lord is telling me and you. The Lord has finally caught us in our own craftiness. If the Lord will come, if the Lord will come in the days that he used to he used to show signs and all that, some people will run to him, but they will be very fake. No, 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 no. Say, said, it's now done wedding now. I'm telling you. No. The Lord knows this. He knows that the Israelites will sin against him. He's the omnipresent, omniscient, who knows everything. But he says, let me catch them myself. So that they will not have anything to say. Brethren, I'm telling you the truth. If you are dealing with somebody, and that person, no, if you are dealing with somebody, no, 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 no. You are dealing with that person. You are dealing with that person. You are dealing with that person. Amen. Amen. If you are dealing with somebody and that person gives you your will, be very careful. Because one day he will come back and then judge you according to your decision. The Lord has given us our way. Does not mean that He's not coming back to judge. It is very dangerous for your will to be given to you. That is why Jesus Christ has come and died for me and you to give Him our will again. So that we will be submitted under his authority. So that we will ask him to teach us the way. So that everything that we will do will be according to his way, not our will anymore. Brethren, we have been given our way. But let us be careful the way we use our way. Amen. 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 Glory be to Jesus. Amen. The Bible said Nicodemus went at night. And asked him. I know you are the son of God. Because of what you are doing. The signs that you are doing is unusual. Therefore, God is with you. Amen. 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 Read that three, please. Come here, son. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I said to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, I'm telling you, you can never see the kingdom of God. So it means it is not everybody who is going to see the kingdom of God. Even those that are born again, most of us will not see the kingdom of God. Because our life doesn't show. Amen. Amen. Sister, be please read the tree. 
We want to go it gradually so we will understand. It is a salvation that we are playing with. Just that three, please. Bacha me sana. Yesu wase no se. No kre no kre me so se. Wa wu obi fo fra on ti mi nu nyan ku kon ahe ni no. Amen. Continue the four please. Bacha wa nine no. E ko de mo se no se. E ba de ni oni pa wa nyi ni no. Obetumi awo no. Obetumi akone na yem bio na wa wo no. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. That tells you that the mind of the Lord is far more deeper than the mind of man. The Bible says, Jesus told him, It is true. I am the Messiah. As you have predicted. It is true. The kingdom of God is there. <laughs> and the Lord will take some people there. <laughs> but I am telling you the truth. <laughs> unless you are born again. <laughs> unless you are born again. <laughs> you can never enter into that city. <laughs> we think this born again is just a child's play. Somebody will be born again and then dressing in the house. Somebody will be born again behaving in the house. Even some preachers claim they are born again, they will preach in the house. Brother, this born again is so powerful. Mm. If you will follow the procedures very well, it is wonderful. Because it is the heaven requirement. Mm. It has something to do with heaven. And anything that has something to do to do with heaven, it's so wonderful. But look at our born again preachers. Look at our born again, born, born again members. Is they really born again? No. Brethren, the Lord is speaking to me and you tonight. We are talking about accepting Jesus and do his will. So that the kingdom of heaven will be for you. Brethren, as I've told you before, the kingdom of heaven will not be given to you on the silver plateau. You will not sit and cross your legs and they will put it on plate and give it to you. It is something that you have to work for. It is something that you have to toil for. You have to sweat for it. So that when it is given to you, you will cherish it. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. So Jesus Christ told the man. Most assuredly, I say to you, five, unless one is born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Unless one is born of water I just say, I you. and the spirit, you cannot enter into heaven. Now, Christians have taken this water and spirit very lightly. Find me some water so that I'll put on myself. And then I'm free to enter heaven. You are a joker. You are deceiving yourself. If one is born in the spirit, that person is not born of flesh and blood. 
That person has to be like God. That person has to be like a heavenly person. Therefore, the character of that person has to change. The appearance of that person has to change. Even though you live here on earth, but your character should be a heavenly character. Your dressing should be a heavenly dressing. If only you say you are born again by the Spirit, you don't understand. Let me tell you one thing. Because I'm from Ghana, I'm going to use Ghana as an example. The Ghana Amen. Amen. When you look at the country Ghana, we have so many tribes. Amen. So many tribes are in this country. I'm telling you, we have Ewes. We have Awaza. We have the Akan. Even the Akan, we have divide divisions. We have Kwe. We have Enzima, where my wife comes from. No matter, Master. Amen. Amen. I would do. We have the we have the attempt. Ah, I for sure. So many different clans or people in Ghana with so many different languages. I'm telling you. And Ewe can never be an Ashanti. An Ashanti can never, whatsoever that you do, you can never be an Ewe. Because some character will show. We have our own individual characters. Therefore, if you are a heavily minded person, if you are someone that the Holy Spirit has baptized you, and the Spirit of God is in you, meaning you come from the heavens because you were not born by flesh and blood. I'm telling you, you have to demonstrate a heavenly character. Amen. Amen. So even Amen. though so many people will be on this earth, but you will still see the difference. So Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now look at our people now. Those that we call Christians, look at the way we behave. Look at the way we dress. What is the difference between us and the other people? This born again spirit is so important. This born again spirit is true. Truly born in holiness and in righteousness. So Jesus Christ told Nicodemus, I am not saying you are going into your mother's womb and be born again. But you have to be born by water and spirit. You enter into the river to cleanse your sin. And then my spirit will come and baptize you. And now you have become a heavenly person. Are you getting that? Your life will change. That is why the Bible calls it a new man. The old things are passed away. And behold, new thing has begun. 
But now people will claim to be born again. But you will see the worst things that they have ever, never even done when they used to be in the world. And we call ourselves born again Christians. Brethren, I'm telling you, this is the time. If we will follow the instructions of Jesus Christ, we will enter into his kingdom. But if we despise his ways, then you all know where your master will go, that is where you will also go. Glory be to Jesus. Say the loudest, Amen. 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 The six says that which is born of the flesh is flesh. Amen. Amen. And Amen. that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Amen. Amen. Look at the two spirits over there in your scriptures. One is capital, one is small. The capital belongs to God. Anything that belongs to God is written in capital. And anything that belongs to man is in the small letter. So the Bible says, if you are born of spirit, meaning the spirit of God, then you will also become a small spirit here on earth. Being born by God. Are you getting that? Amen. So it is not necessary that we are going to enter into the belly of God or Jesus Christ and be born. By the way the spirit works is so mysterious. Glory be to his name. Amen. Is the Lord speaking to me and you? Glory to Jesus. Continue the seven, daddy, please. Seven and eight. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. Verse 8. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Uh, Sister, we read the seven and eight, please. But on Sunday, what you know? I say, a man who young one one, Sammy Camitra will say, a woman cook room. And from a pair, I was telling Kat, now we name for a quire, any for a quire, every room. Amen. Amen. So this is the clear meaning of being born in the spirit. You know that something has happened to you. You know that there is a great change in your life. You know that a place has been prepared for you. A place that man will not see with their eyes. A place that is spiritual because you were born spiritual. That place has been prepared specially for you. Therefore, all your hope is upon this place. Even though you have heard of it, you don't know where you are going. But you know there is a place prepared for you in heaven. And therefore, this is your hope. Nah, no, no, no. This is what you put your trust on. This is what you do believe. No, 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 no. Amen. 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 You are not in the flesh. You are not born by the flesh. 
That they will build mansions for you. They will bring your 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 plan, your documentation to you to sign and show you where your building is. You can go there and visit there and come back. You can even go and sleep there. Because you are born in the flesh. And therefore, fleshy things have to be given to you. But if you are born by the Spirit, mm. you don't need physical things for anything. All that you want is a spiritual thing. And the Lord, by His grace, can reveal to you. You will visit there and come. Even though when you wake up, you are still where you are. But there is a great change in your life. Your life will determine where you are going. People will see you and see that your life has changed. You will change physically. And you will change spiritually. Everything of you will change. Because you have been born again. If we say, this is what Jesus Christ was talking about being born again. He said the wind blows. You don't know where it came from. You don't know where it's going to. But you feel it. This is how a born again Christian has become. Brethren, the Lord is speaking to me and you. It is time that we accept the words of Jesus Christ. Because all power has been given to him. Without him, you can never make to the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Is the Lord speaking to me and you? Amen. 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 Our Lord is alive. Our God is great. Amen. Our God is so wonderful. Amen. 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 Read the nine, please, Daddy. The nine and the ten. Nicodemus answered and said to him, mm -hmm. How can these things be? Mm -hmm. Verse 10. Jesus answered and said to him, Are you the sister of the Israel? Mm -hmm. And do not know these things. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. You claim to be a teacher of Israel. You claim that your descendants experience the power of God. You claim that the pillar of cloud was leading them. You claim the Red Sea was departed into two. You have learned about it. And yet, you don't know my ways. <laughs> Because you don't know me. And I'm so winning me too. I am the one who used to be there at that time. The way I presented myself, you don't know me. <laughs> when I'm telling you, so many people will be surprised. Oh, they will go there thinking they will see God. They will go and see Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you will be surprised. When they call your judge and your judge is coming, you think God will be coming. No, you will be surprised. <laughs> you keep on insulting him. Keep on despising his words. He has been given power and authority. Just that they want to catch us in our own craftiness. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Amen. So that you will not have any mouth to say anything. 
Amen. Amen. A thief that has been arrested red-handed. You don't have anything to say. And that is exactly what the Lord is doing in our time. Because he wants to know those who love him. Glory be to his name. Amen. Amen. Daddy, add the 11. Say who? We speak what we know and testify what we have seen. <laughs> and we do not receive our witness. Verse 12. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? Glory to Jesus. Amen. Look at Amen. this man. Look at this man. Amen. My sister, sister Abigail, please read. Read the read the eleven and the twelve. But you do not know. I say, no cry, no cry. Me so say, dear, you name na yeka, na dear, you know na you do want dance. Na sumu ni ya dance ye no. Say, makamu eh makamu film asem amu ani ani ya. A bad day na se makamu soul samoa. Oh Jesus! Look at look at how man has become. The same ni pa adane. We talk about what we have seen. This man has been in heaven. And because he is the omniscient God. Omnipresent God. He knows what is on this earth. Because he formed it. And he's telling you things that you see. You don't understand. What about heavenly things? When he start telling you buildings that are talking, then you will die, you collapse. Glory be to Jesus. Brethren, are you not scared of this Jesus? Don't you know that he's God? Are you despising this God? Who has disguised himself and come and die for us? Just to use this body. As we are also using this body here on earth. Do you think you belong here? Oh, man. Oh, Nipa. Let God grant you divine understanding. <laughs> so you can understand the things of God. <laughs> you have breath in you. <laughs> you. You came to meet this body. <laughs> and you dwell in this body. <laughs> so you think this is where you came from. <laughs> I'm telling you, you are going somewhere. As you live in this body, so God also made it possible to live in that body. Now, where is he? He's in heaven. And if we believe his words, we will also get there. Brethren, this world is not our home. That we will bluff and blag and 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 convertiousness to take our lives. Brother, let us be very careful. If in a way you have despised Jesus, take him again. Because he is the savior. Without him, there is no life. He give out his life and pick it back again. Can you give your life and pick it back? Who has given his life and pick it back again? Only Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on. Yes, Christopher. He has the power to kill. 
He has the power to give life. This is the man we are talking about. He came to be like man. No, he came to be like a man. So that he can negotiate with us. The Lord told Moses, when Moses had the chance to ask anything that he needs from the Lord, he was very, he was very, very, very smart guy. He said, God, I want to see you. The Lord says, Moses, you have asked so, so much. I, you cannot see me. Because when you see me, you will not leave. So you wanted God to bring his form on this earth. Before you believe. No, 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 no. He will come as a son. So that he can negotiate with us. So that we can get closer to him. So that we can even dine with him. So that we can play with him. So we can get used to him. So we can make it to his kingdom. The Bible says, The Lord says, No, you cannot see my face. But one thing I will do for you, Moses, I will favor you. I will pass by you and I will close your eyes with my hand so that you only see my back. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Is this God that you want to see face to face? Brethren, he has given you Jesus Christ. If you will not believe in this Jesus Christ, you are doomed. You can never enter into his kingdom. Because when he even comes as his form, you cannot stand him. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Amen. We are talking about Jesus Christ, the Savior. Who came to die for me and you? This is the name that we know him on this earth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When you enter into heaven, it is different. Glory be to Jesus. I want us to believe in this Jesus. I want us to walk in his ways. I want us to do his will so that the kingdom will be given to us. Amen. Glory be to his name. Amen. Say the loudest amen. 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 Let us read the 14 and the 16, please. The three language first, please. 14 and 16. Sister Abby. But you do not know any news here. I said, the most of my own so a stress or no. I ran a chance or my only pabana so. Now, be around or genu genu and a down. Amen. Continue. Continue. And I said, you never found do we are singing. Or then a bar or won a chrono my Jesus. Be around or genu genu and a Amen. That read the yeah. English, please. Oh, man. That read the English, please. Amen. Who do you say? Mm -hmm. Must the Son of Man be lifted up? That whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. 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 For God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Amen. Amen. Whosoever believe in the name of Jesus whosoever does not matter how far you have gone in sin does not matter the kind of sin that you have committed if you will only believe if you will only accept him then you will have internal life amen amen believing in him and accepting him as your Lord and personal Savior, then heaven is for you. Amen. Amen. Now, Psalm 70 says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God did not send Jesus Christ to come and condemn. That is why anything that we do is quiet. Because it is not time for judgment. It is not time to condemn. It is time to save. This is the time that salvation is waiting for me and you. This is the time that the kingdom of heaven is open to accept us. If only we will accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior and we will trust in his, in his name by doing his will walking on his ways Salvation is for us. Amen. The kingdom of God is open for me and you. Mm. Because this is the time. The Lord did not give his son to condemn the world. But to save the world. For more than 2,000 years now, this salvation is still open. If you will really accept him, if you will really believe in him, then heaven will be open for you. Amen. 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 Is the Lord speaking to me and you tonight? We are talking about Jesus Christ. The savior of the world. Without him, there is no life. Without him, forget about it. If you want to enter into heaven, you need him. Glory to Jesus Christ. Go with me very quickly to the book of Acts chapter 1. The book of Acts chapter 1, we are reading the verse 11. <coughs> Let us start from the 12, please. Acts chapter 1, from the, from the 10, please, from the 10 to 11. Acts chapter 1, 10 to 11, please. And while they look steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Verse 11, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand? Gazing up into heaven, 
This same Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will so come in like manna, as you saw him go into heaven. Amen. Amen. Sister Abby, please, the tree. But I can't be a do no about say. Now, all the crown, all the crown, all the chest room, I know. Share a merry my baby, ah, or shanty, the fit of a big now on chain. Now, what can so say? Bellily, merry man. And then I'm going to have a chest room. Yes, ye are our final moon chain, a poor or suey, or Baba Saran, so said the moon was all across suey. And no, I will free before ah. Uh, Amen. 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 God bless you, my sister. Amen. So this is what the Bible is saying. When I trust on the earth. This Jesus Christ who came to die and resurrected. And ascended to heaven. The Bible says as the apostles look into the heavens. Two angels appeared. And they said, Why are you gazing in the heavens? For this Jesus Christ who has been taken from you today. That Jesus Christ will return in the same manner. Brethren, this is not a story. This is something that happened. And there are so many witnesses to this. It is telling me and you that Jesus will come back again. The Jesus Christ that you despise. Jesus Christ that you insult. Jesus Christ that you don't believe. A time is coming, he will come back again. And this time he is not coming to save. But he will come to judge. Amen. Amen. So this is the time Amen. that we need to take him serious. As we go out there and speak his word, we pray that the world will accept him and come to him. Amen. If you hear the voice of his children speaking, be in a hurry to accept him. Because this Jesus will come back again. And he is not coming to save. But he is coming to judge. Glory be to Jesus. The Bible has made us know that all power has been given to him. Power in the heavens. Power on earth. Power under the earth. Everything has been given to him. And he is going to judge mankind. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. 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 The Bible says Amen. the angels told the apostles. And they were so happy. Brethren, this day I want us to know. That the Lord has purposely made it this way. That we will be caught in our craftiness. Mm. If we will not accept this Jesus Christ. And we think that we have any other God there to save us. Then it is going to be disappointed. This is the time we need to accept him. This is the time we need to trust in him. This is the time we need to give all our life to him. This is the time we need to walk on his ways. So that salvation will be for us. 
May the Lord bless his word tonight. Amen. May he help us to walk on the ways of Jesus Christ. May he help us to believe in him. May he help us to know the truth and the mystery behind his coming. May he help us to know the mystery behind his death and his resurrection. So that we will not take his death and resurrection as nothing. But we will take it very serious in our lives. And then we will try as much as possible and work on his ways. May the Lord bless his word. And may the Lord help us all. In Jesus' mighty name. Say amen. Amen. We are going to pray very short. Because we are coming back again tonight. So we are going to pray shortly. I want you to dedicate your heart to Jesus right now. If you, want to, if you want to take him as your Lord and personal Savior, this is the time. Dedicate your life. And he is going to rule your life for you. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. I thank you for this day. Father, I bless your holy name for this day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your word has come to me, Lord. I pray that you help me to give your life. Help me to walk upon your ways and do your will. Jesus, I pray that you come into my life. Jesus, come into my life. Come into my life. Come into my life. Come into my life. Come and straighten my life. Come and take over my life. Come and take control of 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 my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I invite you in my life today. I invite you in my life today. Show me your ways. Show me your ways. Reveal yourself to me. Show me your ways. Quicken me. Empower me. Strengthen me. Stand firm in the name of Jesus. I thank you and I bless your holy name. I honor your name, Lord. I bless you in Jesus' mighty power for me. Amen. 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 Let us open our mouth again. Yes, I love you. And pray that anything that we have left over. May the Lord help us to forget about them. We don't want to go back again to the world. We want to move ahead of life. We want to move on to attain eternal life. Therefore, anything that we have disposed, we don't want to get hold of them again. Open your mouth and pray right now for Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, anything that I dispose, Lord, I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, Father, help me not to go back again in Jesus. Father, we shall not go back to Egypt. I pray this morning in the name of Jesus. Whatever love I have, help me not to go back again in the name of Jesus. Every character, help me not to go back again. Anything that I've left over, anything, anything, any character, anything that I've left over, Father, help me to move on. In my Christian life, to move on. In my Christian life, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Before we will go, we will give the announcement. Today is the third day of our fasting. We are fasting, we are fasting again tomorrow and then Friday. We, we finish. And then we will finish our first thing. Don't forget, we are going to dine with the Lord. We are going to dine with the Lord when we finish. So get yourself prepared. Amen. 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 Uh, praise God. I have seen your hands up for a long time. Please, if it's not a mistake. 
Praise God, you're one of Amen. Amen. Maybe it's, Amen. maybe it's a mistake. Amen. Amen. We bless the Lord. Let us share the grace. <laughs> May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy <laughs> Spirit <laughs> be with us now and forevermore. <laughs> Amen. Share the goodness and mercy. Let the message of us all the days of our lives. Amen. We shall be in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I bet betting on Facebook. May God bless all of you for joining us. We pray that the Lord will give you the strength to join us all the time. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord empower you. May the Lord bless all of you. Until we meet again tonight. Is bye bye from Jesus the true shepherd.